What's good, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. Trippy Red dropped his new album recently, A Love Letter to You 4. I've had a chance to listen to it, to take it in, to digest it, and I think it's absolutely fire. I listened to track one to the end fully, all the way through, and it's absolutely sick. I really like the more guitar-heavy tracks. That's kind of inspired me to do a guitar trap beat today. That's what I'm gonna go for, that more rock-inspired guitar trap beat. That's what I'm gonna be making today. These are like, one of my favorite kind of beats to make, so it's gonna be sick, I'm gonna have fun making it. Let's get into the video. Ocean gang go drown. All right, first things first, I'm gonna open up a guitar VST. I think when it comes to making these type of rock inspired guitar trap beats, the best way to do it is obviously using a real guitar because there's like no substitute for it. I've tried so many guitar VSTs for electric guitars and haven't found like an amazing, amazing one. I found a good one though. The guitar that I'm gonna be using for this beat is Evolution Guitar Strawberry by Orange Tree Samples. It doesn't sound too bad. It sounds quite realistic, so I'm gonna go for that one. I wanna raise this BPM to something kind of fast, like let's try that 145. And I'm gonna pencil in a quick bass line, I think first. Control everything, shift, backslash, foot, slogato. I am just going to EQ it a touch because I don't want it to be too bassy. I'm going to add a bass later on. So I don't want it to take up like too much space there. And then I'm going to duplicate that, use that same guitar and put a melody on top of it. Whenever you're using a guitar VST to make a guitar melody, you always want to add quite a bit of reverb on top of it so it sounds a bit more realistic, like it's actually being played. And then I'm going to pan this slightly to the left. I think that sounds good. Alright, so right now it sounds sounds really ugly and it blends in too much. So I'm gonna pan this to the right and I'm gonna add in some reverb. I'm actually gonna add in quite a lot of reverb. I opened up another guitar VST called Ample Guitar. They got some really, really cool effects like this. So I'm just gonna add that to the background so it really makes it sound a bit more realistic. Just something really faint in the background. I think some vocal chops go really, really nicely on this. So I'm gonna open up Arcade, see what I can find. I think just that. And let's control that, quantize that. Pan that to the right, I think. I'm gonna EQ it slightly. And let's add in a stereo spread. Let's add in some reverb too. Turn that down. That's it for my melodies. I don't wanna add anything more to it. I think it sounds quite full. I'm gonna structure it out a bit more, bounce out the audio file, then drag it back in. It's gonna save a lot of CPU this way and it's gonna stop with like the crackling and things like that. All right, got my melodies back in here. Let's EQ it just a bit more. It's gonna raise like some of the high. And I think I might even add a bit more reverb as well. Yeah. 
I think that sounds good. Let's go ahead and add some drums on top of this now. All I'm doing is switching the note size and then using the brush tool to brush in some notes. I'm gonna add in a nice shape of perk, this one right here. Turn that down a bit more, so it's just in the background. I want to layer this clap with a snare, so when I do rearrange it out into a beat, I can switch it between the two. Let's repeat that over. I'm gonna repeat that over again. up and then come on R to repeat that over. The last one I'm going to add to this is a bass. I want to add in a sub bass. So I'm going to open up this plugin by Autorio up to 600 and then there's a nice sub bass called Back to Basic here. And then just to make this easier, the bass that I was using before, I'm going to drag that down, hold an option and then I'm gonna control everything, join that up, join that up as well. But we can make the sound a bit more spacey, a bit more sub. The thing I'm gonna do is low pass it. But at the same time, I'm also gonna add some distortion, some overdrive. all together now. I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange this into a proper beat now. All right, so for the first part of the intro, it's just literally gonna be the guitars. And then let me just repeat these out to make it easier. Command R in. I'm gonna get rid of the bass, the kick, the snare, and the perk. And here we're gonna have almost everything. I'm gonna get rid of the perk, maybe the snare as well. Actually, let's include the snare. Then here we're gonna have everything. And then for the first verse, let's just take away the kick and the snare. And then I'm dragging over just the guitars. Second part of the verse. We can have everything. And then for the third part of the verse, I'm just gonna take away perks. 
then straight after that we'll just have the guitars again. And that's pretty much it for the beat. It will just repeat from the beginning after this part. And that's it. I'm gonna leave it just like that. And yeah, that is how you make a rock inspired guitar trap beat for Trippy Red. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button right now because it really helps the video. Hit that subscribe button, join the family if you haven't already. But almost there, like we're literally just like right around the corner from hitting 100K. We're gonna get it by the end of the year, but I need your help. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do it right now. That's about it for this video. I'll see you in the future.